Hi, my name is Tyler Ducharme, and I'm a Senior Product Marketing Specialist here at Cognex. Today, I will be demonstrating how to set up the Insight 3800 vision system. The Insight 3800 can be purchased as a fully assembled system or as individual components that need to be built up. In this video, I will show you how to assemble two possible combination options, one with a C-mount lens and IP-rated cover, and the other with our integrated multi-torchlight and high-speed liquid lens autofocus. As you can see in front of me, I have all the components needed to set up your system, as well as the tools we'll be using. Let's get started. Let's assemble the 3800 with a C-mount lens and IP67 rated cover. For this configuration, you're going to need a two millimeter hex tool, your choice of C-mount lens, and one of the available C-mount front covers. So the first step in this is to remove the plastic protective cover on the C-mount flange of the device. Um, then we will immediately put in our chosen C-mount lens to protect the image sensor from any dust. What we'll do next is then put on the plastic mount for the front cover. And then all we need to do is um, basically line up that to the four screw holes, make sure that these um, kind of pointed ends are pointed down on the device and the rounded ends of this mount are pointed upwards. Uh, next, we will install the four screws. Uh, what we'll do is install the screws in a cross pattern. One, two, three, four. And I will do that right now. Okay, on to our last step. Now that our four screws are installed, um, simply install the actual cover itself. So these covers are keyed. There are three little keyed openings on the cover itself that match three um, little plastic protrusions on the mount. So all we need to do is just line up those keyed holes and then screw it on. And just like that, we have built up our Insight 3800 with a C-mount lens and cover. If you have a C-mount lens that is longer than the one that we put in today, um, we do offer two other um, C-mount lens covers, um, one at 60 millimeter, one at 75 millimeter, and this is our shortest at 45 millimeter. Let's assemble the 3800 with the integrated multi-torch light and high-speed liquid lens. For this configuration, you're going to need, an, again, a two millimeter hex tool. This time you will need a number one Phillips head screwdriver and then a multi-torch accessory, uh, which will come with all the necessary components, as well as your choice of a lens. So the first step again is going to be to remove this protective plastic film from the C-mount flange of the device. Then what we're gonna do is put in the um, illumination PCB that will come with the um, multi-torch kit. Uh, make sure it is assembled in this way with the um, pins facing upwards in the top left. Once that's installed, we'll then install the high-speed liquid lens. So what we're gonna do is line up two of these screws with these two holes and this um, five pin connector with this one on the right hand side. So what we'll do is basically make sure that that connector um, mates with those pins. You should feel a little bit of resistance. Once that's in, we will then screw in the, the lens itself. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. Next, what we're going to do is put on this rubber gasket, uh, which will seal the light to the body of the camera. Make sure that the holes are lined up and it's configured in this way. Then we will put on the mounting plate for the light module itself. Again, line up the four holes and the, um, the pins here on the right, left-hand side of the device. Then we will install again four more screws. Um, these are actually marked in the cross pattern that we need to install them in. So we have one, two, three, four. And I'll do that now. Once we have our four screws, we can now install the light module itself. So this is the light module. And what we're going to do is line up these um, three capacitors. So you can see there's one, two, three. We wanna make sure that these two when we put this onto the device are on the right-hand side and the single one is on the left-hand side, we should be able to 
install those, right? Like, just like that. And what we'll do is we'll turn the device over. Um, this actually, the light module actually screws from the back to the mounting plate. And again, we're going to install the screws um, with our two millimeter hex wrench um, in a cross pattern. So one, two, three, four, yet again. Okay, so we've installed the light. I do wanna mention one other thing. Um, so this actual front cover here, it's actually removable. Um, you'll notice when you receive your multi-torch accessory kit, it will actually come with this um, component screwed on, but we can actually unscrew this and replace this with two other, um, other front covers, which include a clear cover, a cross-polarized cover, as well as a dome attachment. So I can just show you how to remove this. Again, I'm going to actually do this in reverse. So this will be four. And once I have those unscrewed, it simply pops up from the light itself. And we can exchange, exchange this out with any other of our uh, front covers that we offer. And again, to just simply put it back on, this actually clips in. Make sure that these two holes here um, are aligned. There's a, a circle and a rectangle. And then again, let's install. And just like that, we've assembled our Insight 3800 with the integrated multi-torch and high-speed liquid lens. Now that we have the Insight 3800 vision system built up, we're going to connect it to a computer and start Insight Vision Suite. I've already connected the power and ethernet cables to the Insight 3800 and connected to my laptop. I've also already installed Insight Vision Suite and have it open. From here, your device should show up in this menu on the home page on the left-hand side of the screen. You can match the serial number and MAC address that is labeled on the rear of the device with the serial number and MAC address that appears on a selected device within Insight Vision Suite. If it doesn't show up, please check to make sure your system's network settings are set up to DHCP. From here, all I have to do to connect to the device is simply double click the, um, the icon here or click Easy Builder Connect or Spreadsheet Connect. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna connect via Easy Builder. As you can see, I'm now connected to the device and can set up my application. Let's recap. We assembled two different IS3800 configurations one equipped with a C-mount lens and IP67 cover, and another with our integrated multi-torch light and high-speed liquid lens autofocus. Lastly, we plugged in our power and ethernet cables into the device and connected to it in Insight Vision Suite via my laptop. Thanks again for watching.